Welcome back. Well, night feasting, atomic bomb meals, and fast food addictions. These are just some of the unhealthy eating habits many of adults adopt. Well, not only do we adopt them, we also pass them on to our children. Most families barely have time to say hello, much less prepare and eat the right foods, and of course, exercise. Amy Hindell is a health expert. She's helped hundreds of families make lasting changes to lose weight and get healthy, together. Amy's time and money-saving tips can help you create new habits too, so you can stop the unhealthy cycle where it begins, in the home. Please welcome to the 700 Club, the author of Fat Families, Thin Families, Amy Hindell. Thank you so much for being here Thank today. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, so I always believe that before we write a book, we have to be inspired by something. Right. So to look at you now, I don't, I don't see anything fat in the history no, or now. No. So what inspired you to write this book? Well, did you come I, from a fat family? I did. I okay. came from a generationally fat family, mm -hmm. and my mom's uh, favorite jug of choice was food. Mm. And at age 16, I think my flick switch was the guys who wanted my class notes didn't seem to want to date me. Mm. So I needed to do something. I was carrying an extra 50 pounds, marched myself off, lost the weight in a year, never looked back. But when I became a mom, that's when the big challenge happened because I had figured it out for myself. Mm. But how was I going to prevent my kids from kind of following that same family route. And that's actually really, really difficult because it's kind of like what we're taught is what we teach, right? Well, it's actually what we model to mm -hmm. our children. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to see them uh, seeing me. I didn't want to have them seeing me doing rigorous dieting. I didn't want to have them seeing obsessive exercising. I had found a pretty good habit, but you know, kids are kids. They need to be shown things. They need to see modeled behavior. Healthy habits either begin in the home or horrible habits begin in the home. And mm -hmm. my attitude was the buck stops here, we're going to do it the right way. Well, let's talk about the right way. You okay. have four principles, four P's. That's what, what I they? call them. I call them the four P's. Okay. It's plan, prepare, portion, play. Okay. So let's talk about planning. We want to see the family as a team, and that means mealtime is family time. That means families weigh in on menus, and therefore, I create this shopping list that is based on menus that the kids weigh in on mm -hmm. and the hubby too. I put my coupons in here, I put my recipes in here, and I go shopping once a week. So this is a big shopping, lots of bulk food being purchased because I want to save bucks too. Okay. So at the end of the day, the family has voted. When those meals get served and they don't like it, I say, look, there's tuna in the fridge, there's turkey in the fridge, but this is the meal you voted on, and these are the treats you voted on. See, you're an awfully nice mom, <laughs> because I kind of came from old school time where my mom said, okay, here's the food, God bless you, eat it, and if you don't eat, you will starve. Okay, we don't want any starving children in the world, but I agree with you. Yeah. There is negotiation time, and then there's no means no time. So yeah. I'm all for that a little bit, okay. but let's involve the children. So the next step is prepare, and prepare is bring the stuff into the house and involve your children. Hopefully they've gone shopping with you, they've done taste testing, but now get the meats marinated, get some of them cooked ahead of time. Let the kids portion out trail mix. This is a great way to make your own healthy trail mix. Let them put in the portion control bag what they like most. And then you're also not buying a lot of processed foods. You're making your own version, and they love that. And you can do everything from cutting the salad, cutting the fruit salad, cutting up veggies, preparing dips, but prepare, prepare ahead of time. And then you have a lot more time to be with your kids during the week because you're not running around frenzied. You're not winging it. You're organized and planned. And that's a good idea, too. I have a four-year-old, and one of the things he loves is helping mommy. Okay. So if I'm in the kitchen, great, pumpkin. Put these together. And then they also get to choose the ones that they like the most. Exactly. Yeah. And you want them involved. You want them feeling like their voice has importance sure. and you want them learning nutrition lessons along the way. And this is great conversation. Why are you choosing this? This is high fiber. These are good for you. These are the nutrients. There's a lot of dialogue, sure. but I love portion and portion means buying things mm -hmm. in the correct size. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did before, but also dipping is great for kids. So when I'm doing portioning with kids, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about snacks they can dip. They will become superstars at school <laughs> if they walk in with a little container of peanut butter and cut up apple. Yeah. Veggies and hummus, or veggies and salsa, or veggies and bean dip. Uh, yogurts that can be topped with some of this great topping that you already put in the portion controlled bag. So again, the kids are heavily involved in the choice making, in the making of it, and in the doing. I gotta tell you, as you were sitting there talking about the dipping, I saw this peanut butter, and my brain instantly thought about my son, who would forget about the apple, open this up, and just start licking the peanut butter. That's okay, <laughs> you know, it's all about, but again, portion also means visually knowing what sure. you're seeing. And so we use the cassette mm -hmm. as kind of a grain control system. Mm -hmm. That's the size your bread should be. The 
size of a cassette. Gotcha. I let my fist hover over a cereal bowl, and that's pretty much a portion size. Baseball and pasta goes hand in hand, or small orange. And again, your dinner plate, this is the way a dinner plate should look. It should be heavy on the veggies, heavy on salad and steamed veggies, a fist size of carbohydrates, a hand size of protein, so your hand can be all of your visual, but that's what a full, nice dinner plate should look like. And again, I plate at the counter, bring to the table the plates already made, and then veggies and fruit go on the table. We should not be doing this family-style food. Yeah. That's a food frenzy. I think that is actually one thing that we don't discuss enough, and that's really portion control. Um, my girlfriend and I were talking about this the other day. We were looking at a, in a book and said, okay, have three ounces of chicken. And instantly she's like, well, what's three ounces? I don't know how to measure that. And so, Sorry, oops. there goes my ring with the three know. ounces, but, but that is like three ounces. Yeah. That is, hot. I call it the hover mode. Yeah. And kids, again, love this. And they go, but my hand is so small. And I'll say, that's because your tummy is small. Exactly. There's the right side of food for everybody. And again, sometimes no means no when it comes to those treats that are processed. But give them the right portion. Let them enjoy it. And then say, you want something else, honey? Here's the fruit with the dip. Exactly. OK, and the fourth and final. The fourth and final is play. And let me just say, my family, from the time they were born mm -hmm. into the family, has traveled with me everywhere. We just came back from Costa Rica, which was a heavy mm -hmm. hike, adventure, water rafting, the whole nine yeah. yards. But when I talk about play, it's parents modeling the behavior. You cannot sit on your little tushy mm -hmm. watching TV and eating bonbons while you tell your children go out and play. It just doesn't float. Yeah. So be smart. Do dancing to music. Take them on excursions to the beach. Do lunging in the sand. Have fun together, but make activity for every hour you watch TV or you play videos. There should be an hour of active time. Absolutely. For the entire family, for which is what family. I love. I love that. <laughs> I, go, um, I go rollerblading and my son rides his little bike next to me. So. Okay, That's you our are exercise a healthy for the family day. for life. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'd like more information on Fat Families, Thin Families, all you have to do is just pick up a copy of Amy's book. It is called Fat Families, Thin Families, and it's available nationwide. And what's so cool, too, is we actually have a free fact sheet for you. Oh, great. Isn't that neat? That is neat. Yeah. And all you have to, it's called Four Keys to a Healthier Family. And all you have to do is just call the number right there on the bottom of the screen, 1-800-716-FACT. Uh, or once again, all you have to do is just log on to CBN.com, and these are yours. Thank you so much Thank for being here. Thank you so here. much for having me. Absolutely. And let's Good information. Eat some Healthy food. Not a problem. <laughs>